Alright, welcome back. We are doing our second video in the Plex Kiwi um, ODB2 uh, car diagnostics for the iPhone and the iPad. And what I've done right now is on my iPad I've gone to the App Store and I've done a simple search for OBD2 which basically just stands for onboard diagnostics and it's the second version or second generation and uh, I've done a search and you can see the apps that have popped up um, specifically for the iPad um, don't know if these will all work with the Plex QE2 device but uh, it does have some on the box that list working with it and that would be the rev app and dash command and fuzzy car those at least three are definitely tested to work with this device so those are the couple we're going to focus on and the the rev will be the first one because it actually has a light version you can download for free very limited but you can actually download it and get it to uh, install and maybe test out some of the basic functions that uh, it has so let's go ahead with that being said and do a search for rev on the app store so we're just going to go search for rev and we'll see what we get hit wise and unfortunately they're not showing up for the ipad and there's one up here called dash command which was on our box let's go click on it and see if this is a supported app and the nice thing is they, they've updated this on August 9th of this year so that does seem to mean that they are actually supporting the app and wow it's got a $50 price tag yeah pricey buy the device for about 150 200 bucks and then drop another 50 on the app but uh, it does have some nice features it does look like and they uh, are still updating it and supporting it so that's a good thing well, let's go back to Rev and unfortunately we just have iPhone versions but let's click on Rev Lite and, and see this is why I'm skeptical of buying the Pro version of this was because the Lite version hasn't been updated since January 18th of 2010 and the $40 version has not been updated since January 14, 2010. So, even though this is the number one listed app um, out there on their box and on the website for PLX, uh, not much app support. And I've actually emailed these people and requested, uh, you know, if they're supporting their app and all that kind of stuff, and uh, never got a response so I'm probably not going to go anywhere with Rev except for we're going to go ahead and download this free version just for demonstration purposes and we'll go ahead and install that and we'll be able to test this out once it's done with this PLX device which I did in the unboxing video this is what it looks like this is basically the little black box that will produce the Wi-Fi signal um, that your iPhone or iPad will connect to and pull data from and here's your adapter that will go in uh, plug into your car port generally under the steering wheel or the on you know right under your dashboard somewhere on the driver's side normally um, I think uh, I think cars from like 96 on up should be ODB2 compliant. Um, I could be wrong but I think that's the year that they kind of standardize these and this is what uh, generally if you take it to the shop they'll charge you oh, 60 to 80 dollars just to hook it up to diagnose your issues with your car your check engine light comes on or anything like that where this here allows you to do it for free and um, I did get a device for the iPad to go into into the car so I will have a uh, mount to the windshield for the iPad so you can actually drive around with this and since it's Wi-Fi uh, get um, real live data which will be kinda nice we can actually see live data on the iPad from the vehicle and uh, I'm anxious to see that and as Rev Lite installs I'm gonna go ahead and end this video and continue the series 
um, with the dashboard mount that I picked up. We'll do the unboxing of that next. Thanks for watching.